Hi everyone, I'm Andrea and welcome to my channel The Minimal Approach. Today's video is all about my January makes, so if it's something that's interesting for you, please stay tuned. So January was a productive month, I would say, because I was not working for two weeks, so I had a lot of spare time where I could sew, and that's what I did. My first make of January was this Sarah jacket, and I made a video all about it, so I won't get into much details today. And my second make was the Kelly shirt by Closet Case. Unfortunately, it's in the laundry, but I'll enter pictures of me wearing the shirt. I love mostly everything about the shirt, except for the shark fins at the back, and it's something that I noticed with this type of sleeve and some other sewists notice that it's present on this type of sleeve so I think there's no way to get around it. It doesn't bother me to a point that I wouldn't wear the shirt because I, I already wear it and I like it. It's just I don't think I would make it again in a sturdy fabric like the one that I chose. And also this month I did some selfless sewing. What I worked on is to create a pattern based on my boyfriend's favorite t-shirt so I made three versions of this and well for if you count the muslin and we made a few fitting sessions to figure out what needed to be changed in order for it to fit perfectly so here they are i'll try to insert pictures of him wearing the t-shirts something else that i've made this month is this bomb shirt i like it but unfortunately i was distracted and i sewed the sleeve on the wrong uh, armholes so this sleeve should be going here and this sleeve should be going here fortunately it's a easy enough fix so I won't worry about it too much and I'll just fix it when I'll have time and um, I've been wearing it anyway and in the meantime and it fits well like there's no major problem with it so it doesn't bother me much. This is one of my make mine plans so it's a Rowan mock turtleneck and I really like this pattern. There isn't much to say about this because it's such a straightforward make and um, didn't have enough fabric so I made this sleeve like three quarter length which doesn't bother me at all. I feel like it looks great anyway. Um, again, really like this pattern. This is leftover fabric that I had after making my boyfriend's muslin t-shirt. Um, and the fabric of the bomb shirt before is some fabric that was given to me by my godmother. So from her stash. So yeah, really suggest this pattern. I do zero alteration to it and this is a size small. This make I'm really not sure about. It's Berla 6263 and it's a pattern that my mom got and that when I saw it I was like mm, I really want to try it out so I traced it and our plan was to make the same version of the blouse so we could twin but actually I don't really think this fits I made a size 10 which is the size that's recommended to me by my body measurements but it feels so big I think it's the style also like it's weird because I did look at like the sleeve length with like measuring the pattern pieces and it felt okay but now they're so long but this is fabric that my mom gave me so I really want to um, make alterations to this blouse for it to be wearable because as of now I mean I wouldn't wear this I just really don't feel comfortable um, and these are really like drop shoulder which is something that I think it's really on trend this year I've seen people wearing drop shoulder a lot. So I think the major thing that I dislike, which is which is something that I thought I would like, is the cuff. And I also put in them like in the wrong direction, I think. It should always be the other way around. So the buttonholes should be on this side and this side should be the button. So that's my bad too. I have no fabric left. So I think what I will do is that I will remove the cuffs and we'll probably try to do like some just a little cuff here so it will be a little bit like the Cali shirt and it will be boxy and I will wear it with legging instead of with jeans um, because it's really long I mean it's it's like it's a short dress but it's reasonable with leggings so I think that's what I will do so just remove the cuffs and do like just a little bit of a cuff right here at the drop shoulder well no because the harm hole is so low yeah, I cannot do this. The harm hole goes like here. So if I lift my arm, people will see. Oh well, anyway, I need to figure something out. Um, although like from the comments that I got on Instagram, people liked it a little bit more when I wore it open and tucked in my jeans. So I think this is what people generally liked a lot more. So maybe I could do this. Maybe I could just 
hem it and wear it like this. And this is the Gemma sweater that I made this month in leopard print. It's been a while that I wanted to make something with leopard print and my godmother gave me this from her, this fabric from her stash. It's really high quality um, like sweater knit and I love it. Um, I love the Gemma sweater. I love this type of neckline and the geometric like um, shape at the front. Um, so yeah, so it's just this one is really a win. I've been wearing this one a lot. So also there's been some project that just didn't turn out in January. So I tried to make this Dudley dress by Megan Nielsen, but I'll have to remove this from my make nine because I really dislike gathering. So I don't know why I didn't realize that before, but there's so much gathering like at the waist and I'm not going to do that. So something that I want to do in 2020 is that if I see a project's not going to turn out. I'm not going to force myself to finish it and I'm just going to try to reuse the fabric for something else. Because this is something I've been doing in 2019. Like if there's something that I feel that it's not going to work out, I'm still I was like still pushing through and making it as a finished garment and then just not wearing it and getting rid of it. So this year I'm not going to do this. So I recutted the pieces of the studly into the Donna dress. One of the make that isn't finished is this Cut the Slow by Megan Nielsen. So here is the bottom and here is the top for this like little swimsuit pattern. So this one is like in cotton. So these are definitely underwears and not swimsuit. I had to make quite a lot of adjustment to them like I made mediums and I felt like I should have made a top small and a bottom medium but with adjustments. So I've been working on this so I'll be ready to make a great swimsuit this summer. Also I'm working on copying my favorite pair of ready to wear jeans. I'm almost over so this video should come really soon. And that's a really interesting project. Um, I've been tracing the pattern out of the unpicked piece of one pair of one leg of the jean. I've been wanting to do that for a while now, so I'm happy that I got the time to get into it. So this is it for my makes video for January. Thank you so much for watching, I appreciate you so much, and I will see you in the next sewing video. Bye!